my name is Pierre Ludet. I come from France. My team is uh, Les Diables de Stenay. Uh, my opponent is uh, Igor Felidov from Chelyabinsk. He's a strong wrestler. Igor, I hope we will make a good fight. Good luck. Всем привет. Меня зовут Филидов Егор. Я представляю клуб Ферм города Челябинск. Мой соперник Пьер Людет. Его слабая сторона это борьба. Сильная сторона, я считаю, что он неплохой ударник. Пьер, настало мое время. Дамы и господа, это трехраундовый бой в наилегчайшем весе. В синем Грейджи, а спортсмен из Франции. Приветствуйте! Пьер Люде! All the way from France tonight, Pierre Ludet, just 19 years of age, undefeated. A real technician on the feet and also an excellent jiu-jitsu base. Undefeated as an amateur as well, undefeated as a pro, as you will see. Actually went through a four-man tournament in Germany as an amateur showed off that grappling and interesting stand-up style on the feet. Really caught the attention of the matchmaking team here in M1 Global. Pierre was also a medalist in the National, National Junior Boxing Tournament, known for being very calm and collected, and certainly has shown a lot of versatility under pressure. He's young, the sky could be the limit with this kid. Of course, MMA in France, facing some adversity in the legalization, and Pierre hopes to be able to lead the way for his fellow countrymen tonight on the stage that is the M1 selection. Спортсмен Красного Гурыджа представляет Российскую Федерацию. Клуб Феррум, город Челябинск. Приветствуйте, Егор Филидов! Большого спорта и танца, новая история, значит и новый формат идет для молодых легенд. Егор Филидов, representing Team Baron. From Chelyabinsk, just 19 years of age, almost identical in height as well to his opponent, so both men almost mirror images of each other. Yegor actually called out Lude on being unskilled in the wrestling department. He said, I'm going to take this fight where he will not be able to control the pace. And the flyweight division at 56.7 kilograms, that's 125 pounds, expect a frenetic pace. Making his professional debut tonight, he said he took an awful lot of strength knowing that the fans would be behind him tonight at the Tractor Arena. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the flyweight division. Now let me introduce your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 19 years old. He weighed in at 56.7 kilograms. He stands 168 centimeters tall and has a record of two wins and no losses. Representing France, please welcome Pierre Lude. And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is also 19 years old. He weighed in at 55.7 kilograms. He stands 176 centimeters tall and is making his professional debut. Representing Ferrum from Telebinsk, Yego Bilidov. 
and your referee for this bout, Victor Cornier. Okay, gentlemen, fight three rounds, five minutes, okay? Don't hit head by head and span line. Don't hit elbow to head, only to the body and the legs. Don't touch ropes, don't touch gloves, don't touch trunks. Listen, my comment on time. Touch your gloves. Go, corner. So, Victor Karneyev in charge. Flyweight division, that's 56.7 kilos once again. Pure of the day in the blue corner. His opponent, Yegor Filidov, in the red. This one could be all about the wrestling. Filidov said, I'm going to take him down and put him where he's not comfortable. Look for Lude to show off that boxing and jujitsu in all positions. I mean, 19 years old, Chris. I mean, these guys are still babies. And they're doing this professional MMA here in Russia. There's a shot. Nice sprawl. Front headlock oh, there from Lude. Gets Lude the duck gets under. The Maybe not so fast. Interesting when Filidov called him out on the grappling and said, I'm going to be able to control him. I'm going to be able to, to, to define where this fight will take place. Well, depending on how comfortable Lude's ground is, he may want to stand up from this position. He's got to be careful, he's caught in a figure four. The elbow is free, so it's going to be hard to, to apply that now. But he takes the bat with one hook in, now has the body lock, changes it. He's using the leg to pull the arm out. Works that body lock again. Those long, thin legs of these guys. Thin body, easy to get the body lock. And it seems to me that Filidov is doing the right thing, trying to turn him over onto the side of the lock to relieve that pressure. It is, but also, Lude cannot get the arm free. He's got a big, tight grip on that arm. I'd like to see if he's actually got a hold of the glove, which is illegal, but it's very hard to see from this position because he's trying everything to pull that arm free, and he can't. Both guys mirror images. Just 19 years of old. One centimeter height difference. Edge and experience for the day, but Filidov has that amateur pedigree to go on as well. Well, he's got the arm free now, or should I say he's got one arm free around the neck. The other arm is still there. He's got tight a hold of it. I'd love to see if he's got a hold of the glove because it, it's now an impossible not to pull your arm free if you've just got a hold of the wrist. Maybe Lude was thinking about going for the one arm choke there, but tough to do, I think, in this position. Hard to see from this position how he has got a hold of the arm. Yeah, he's grabbing the wrist there, Machine. I can just see it. Oh, through yes, the ring. yes. You got two hand on one, yeah. Yeah, you got two on one. Oh, look at oh, Ludego. Great work. Oh, Uma Plata missed it. Oh, nice work. Back to his feet. Lude, great work. Great transitions there from Filidov and Lude. Lude showing off some real slick maneuvers, going oh. for that belly down armbar to the Oma Plata, and then standing back up off the Jiu Jitsu. It was beautiful, beautiful to watch. I mean, 19 years old, and these are showing the older guys how to do MMA. As I said during the walkouts, you know, MMA facing some adversity in France. Just watch Lude. He's trying to push the sport forward and show, I think, good reason why young people should be studying it. Yeah. Oh, and training and competing. I'm sorry, Chris, that was a low blow, accidental. But like I say, MMA is actually banned in France. They do the, all the other aspects. They do the kickboxing, the judo, the jiu-jitsu, mm -hmm. the Thai boxing, but you're not allowed to put it all together in one sport, which is absolutely ridiculous, if you ask me. There's the low blow. And certainly an offsides play. Up to five minutes on the clock will be allowed. Looks to me like Philly Dov is okay here. The crowd showing appreciation. So a touch of gloves, the action resumes. Oh, it's Lude that goes for the shot in the side. Beautiful, straight on a man position. What a great transition. Big shots now. Takes the back, got both hooks in. And this, time, this time his hands are free. He's looking to work some magic here on the back. Well, I say that and he has one hand. He has one hand trapped again. There we go, now we're free. Let's see what he can do with both hands. He needs to be careful because what he's doing is going for the underhooks under the armpit to try and flatten out his opponent, and that's when he's getting his wrist taken. There's the now he's going to try to go for wrist control. And Lude looking to try to get that choke, and he oh, goes. Oh, he's got it, he's got oh, it, that's on. Got it. That is on, that is beautiful. 
But what can he finish it? Because it's good defense now. Philly Dove has got a hold of one arm. Needs to go palm to palm. He's gonna tap. He tapped. He tapped. Wow. Pierre Lude, 19 years old, fighting like a true professional. Looks like he's been doing it all his life. And Pierre Lude able to catch another rear naked choke, getting that barbell grip machine. You talked about the grips. You knew they were important, and Lude able to get the victory. Billy Dove questioned the wrestling, but Lude was able to take him down, pass his guard, expose the back. Look for that finish. Seek and he shall find. Pierre Lude, spectacular win here at just 19, showing all of the skills and all of the potential of a very bright future indeed. Make that three submissions in a row now for Pierre Lude. An arm bar, a guillotine choke, and now a rear naked choke. So ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes, 56 seconds of round one, we have a winner due to tap out to rear naked choke, Pierre Lude. So Pierre Lude tonight continues that undefeated run, undefeated as an amateur, undefeated as a professional. And a thrilling future without a doubt. So to recap the fight, Pierre came out and certainly Philidov came out as well, both promising to deliver a high pace back and forth contest. And back and forth it did go. Philidov and Lude exchanging on the feet, but it was all about the ground game. Lude getting the lift, flaring the legs to the side beautifully, take down straight to mount. That's the best way to do it, the most efficient way of doing things. And there you start to see the attacks that Lude was able to sequence together. Moving the choking arm in beautifully there and then swapping to that barbell grip. Hipping in, tons of torque, tons of pressure, taking the victory with the Mataleon.